It's victory day in the skies of War Thunder. Hello everyone, I'm your host for the Civ Sim channel, Tony Quebec. And today, we're going to be taking a look at the victory day special here in War Thunder and how you can get a free premium aircraft. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this video started, shall we? Uh oh, that's not good. Nope, not good at all. Seventy years ago, the Nazi Empire surrendered to the Allied forces on this date, May 9th, 1945. And to commemorate this event, War Thunder is having a special event, the World War II Chronicles Victor, which, if you win 225 victories with 75% or higher participation, you get a free Spitfire. The USSR Spitfire. So that is the free aircraft that you can get uh, during their challenge. You have, at the time of this video, five days uh, to complete these missions, uh, which are basically part of the World War II Chronicles Victory Challenge. That challenge you can um, <clears throat> uh, get to by going into the Events tab and going into the World War II Chronicles Victor. The day I participated in this um, mission was when they were having the Guardian Angel map uh, for Arcade, which, if you're playing Germans, is a pretty guaranteed surefire way of getting a victory. You'll also notice at the bottom that there is a tank battle. Uh, for Aurora, uh, on this particular day, obviously, the challenge has changed. But if you were to go and click on that, there is another premium vehicle that War Thunder is going to uh, give away. Which would be the premium SU-76M of the 5th Guards Cossack Cavalry Corps. Wow, that's a mouthful. But anyways, that tank could be yours if you kill 1,000 enemy players in the World War II Chronicles USS Tanker event. If you go to World War II uh, uh, Chronicles, where it says Battle of War Tank Battle, that is uh, basically what you would uh, be playing if you are interested in getting that tank. Again, you need a thousand uh, ground kills in order to do that. However, you will have roughly five days at the time of this video, so about four days uh, to see it. So for those of you who are very good tank players, um, you know, it is, it is a challenge. But um, if you're very good, you'll probably be able to do it. Um, another thing is, is that RB and uh, Simulator Battles do have their multipliers for this. So if you are playing realistic or Simulator Battles... Uh, your count, uh, your kills do get multiplied, so you don't have to get like a thousand kills on simulator battles uh, in order to get that tank. It is uh, multiplied as usual. Um, but anyways, enough of talking about the tanks and everything and uh, the, and the uh, aircraft. Let's uh, actually uh, see what your chances are of getting something. Now, if you want a surefire way of getting the Spitfire, you need to at least achieve 225 victories. All right, and you those victories count if you have over 75% um, battle activity, uh, which is basically at least killing one aircraft in each game. So you have to at least have 225 victories um, in which uh, you are uh, having a battle activity of over nine, uh, of over 75 percent and please note that those are only for the World War II event chronicles you're not going to do that by just jumping into a random battle so you do have to play the missions um, that they are giving you in the events uh, in order to uh, get uh, to unlock that aircraft uh, now they do give you a chance every um, 
25 or so victories, it's multiplied 15, 25, etc., um, in which uh, you can get a chance of a trophy uh, which uh, will potentially or could potentially give you uh, the aircraft. Uh, and uh, so let's actually see how that is. Um, uh, so let's give it a try and see if we can't unlock that in just 15 games. Can it be done? We will soon find out. But first, a few blippers. Because they're fun. <laughs> hey. Okay, shoot, shoot, get off, off. <laughs> I got him! <laughs> He's on fire! He's on fire! That's what you get from messing with an ME262! No, this isn't a... Heavy 410. Ah, got him! Eye for an eye! Well, at least I got one kill for this game. <laughs> and I'm still shooting. Take that, you Americans! Take that! Wait, what? What? Where, where the must? Where? What? Stop firing! Stop firing! This is me. I'm on a mission! I'm on a- <laughs> He ran me! He ran me! Oh. <laughs> oh, that's, that's too funny! Oh... And I'm still shooting! <laughs> oh, that's- that- Oh, that's just too funny! Alrighty, the final match. So far, we've managed to get 14 victories. It took us over three hours. Uh, mostly because not that many people are uh, playing, and so yet the queues are uh, very long to get into a match. And our issue is with the uh, Guardian Angel event. Uh, obviously, the Germans always have an advantage, and so nobody wants to play the Americans, and so. Uh, yeah, everyone wants to play the Germans in this, I mean, um, which is kind of ironic, seeing as this is supposed to be for a Russian victory thing, but, uh, uh, uh defeating the Germans, but, uh, I guess the Germans get the last laugh in this. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we're flying out the, uh, Mi, uh, 410, I believe that's the Mi 410, I hope it's the Mi 410. <clears throat> for some reason, I know it's an, an, it's an Mi with two engines. Um, you know, shoot me. I'm not an expert on this stuff. <laughs> um, to be fair, and, and you know, one of the things I like about War Thunder is, um, you know, everyone knows about the P-51, the ME-262, the Horton 229, and all those other aircraft that are very famous, but aircraft like uh, this one uh, wasn't really that famous. <clears throat> you know, and uh, so it's always amazing seeing the aircraft uh, 
in war and especially the Russian aircraft, because, you know, most, uh, well, at least I know from America, is, you know, we don't really learn that much about, you know, the Yak-9s and all of that stuff, but uh, those were real aircraft uh, in uh, World War II, so, um, anyways, up, ah, got a kill. All right, so we were guaranteed a kill now. So, uh, but uh, yeah, War Thunder is great uh, when it comes to uh, World War II aircraft and just what you can learn. Uh, you know, video games can really teach you a lot sometimes. And, uh, oh, oh, someone's on my tail. Ah! Oh, I think that's the uh, guy from before. Yep, got him. And he's just gonna burn up. He's going, going. Come on, guy. Come on. Yep, he's dead. Hey, two kills. Not bad, not bad at all. <clears throat> but basically, um, uh, what you, uh, uh, <laughs> still shooting. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's basically all you really needed to do, um, if you're playing on the first day is uh, go and whir and, uh, basically have 15 victories, which were pretty much guaranteed. Uh, because as soon as you destroyed those uh, enemy uh, bombers, basically the uh, ticket counter would just go to zero. Um, which I kind of hate, though, in a way. I think you should have to finish all the aircraft before that thing goes down. Uh, because I've seen games where it's like over in like a minute. You know, uh, most average only two minutes. Of course, in the queue, it's about 20 minutes to get a game because no one's playing the Americans because they keep losing. And, of course, if you're going for the premium aircraft, or an attempt for it, like I just did, um, uh, let's see, come on, come on, are we going to get it? Nope, only 9,000 uh, Silver Lions. So, uh, if you are playing um, the, uh, you know, the first 15 to get a random trophy, the odds of you actually getting the aircraft are very slim, but uh, on the bright side, it wasn't like a 10% beaker, which would have made this worthless. So, is it worth it? Well, if you're a very good player, and if you think you can get over that uh, 225 uh, victories with over 75% uh, 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 activity, then yeah, uh, you can uh, pretty much get that premium Soviet Spitfire. However, on the other hand, if uh, you're not that good or not that interested and don't really have time to invest in this game, then uh, it's probably not worth it at all. So, um, And again, if you want to check your progress, all you have to do is go to your name, activities tab, World War II Chronicles, and uh, the Chronicles of Victory, and uh, you can see all of those stages. There are... Uh, you know, uh, multiple stages, the final stage, of course, being where you actually unlock the aircraft, um, but, uh, those victory trophies aren't, aren't really worth it, uh, if you're just going for, uh, the stage one and such, you really have to, uh, do over that, uh, 125 kill, or, for, well, for this case, 125, uh, victories, um, to, uh, really get that game, as always, I mean, uh, those premium aircraft, uh, it's a real challenge, so, um, if you're up for it, then, uh, I really, uh, highly suggest it, if not, well, that's gonna do it for me, I hope you found this video interesting, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and as always, this is Tony, from the SimSim Sim channel, wishing you all a great day, I will catch you guys next time, and for everyone out there, including the Russians, and the Germans, and the French, and anyone else I missed, Happy Victory Day, stay safe out there, and have fun playing whatever it is you're playing, or watching, for that matter, here on YouTube, and I'll catch you guys next time. This is Tony Kubek, signing out.